Representative John Patrick Kearney, we have P.D. Talley, we have Pastor Snyder who just spoke, Representative Dreehouse, Representative Ramos, Representative Cinziano, Representative and President of Ohio Legislative Black Caucus, Alicia Reese. We have two other ministers joining us and I will be introducing them in a moment. But we want the citizens of this great state to know that help is on the way. Yeah. That we will stand in the ready position that makes sure that everybody has unfettered access to the ballot box. Senator Chabon. Thank you, Senator Turner. I appreciate the opportunity to be here today. You know, as we go through these bills, I'm still waiting for uh, a legislator that supports these bills, the governor, to explain the rationale for passage of these bills. You know, we're sitting here and we're 45th in job growth over the last year. We have students from the Ohio Students Association. I was at your press conference today. I mean, they're talking about how they have debts that they can't pay back, they can't find jobs, and we're not willing to put $40 million over the next two years to help them reach the, the goals that they all are trying to reach. We need to invest in public education. There's all of these things that we're supposed to be down here that we're elected to do, but instead we're focusing our attention on limiting people's right to vote. It's senseless legislation that, again, I'm challenging uh, legislators that have voted for this and supported this to give us the rationale for. And in the meantime, hopefully we can get the masses so excited about this that they will demand that legislators work on legislation that is going to make meaningful impact in their life. And so that's the goal that I'm asking you to all go home and, and bring to folks, is to pay attention to these bills and push for um, what's needed and necessary in the state. Obviously, this isn't something that is. So, um, Senator Turner. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. We appreciate that. Up next, we have our president of the Ohio Legislative Black Caucus and representative of the 33rd House District in the great state of Cincinnati, Ohio, President Alicia Reese. Also joining us is Pastor O'Neill, and he's the president of Faith Communities in Cincinnati, Ohio. And we will be hearing from Bishop Timothy Clark here rather soon. Representative Reese. Thank you, uh, Senator Nina Turner, and thank you for your leadership and bringing us uh, here today on Testimony Tuesday. Um, I thank God for uh, a great pastor and a spiritual advisor, uh, but more importantly, someone who is uh, on the streets, uh, goes door to door, uh, has gotten folks out to vote, has marched uh, for civil rights for many years uh, in Hamilton County in Cincinnati, Reverend Russo O'Neill, and I'm pleased for that he's joining with us today uh, in this effort to speak back and fight back uh, against this war on voting rights. There is a war on voting rights and Ohio is ground zero. And we are working day and night, night and day, to make sure that your vote is not suppressed, to make sure that thousands are not disenfranchised. We're working day and night to make sure that there's access for all to the ballot box. And so we join with Senator Nina Turner and our colleagues that are behind us uh, in this fight for voting rights. One of the things that we have tried to do, we have tried to work within the system here at the Ohio General Assembly. We've introduced bills, and some of the bills have been sitting for years and are waiting for hearings as we speak. We have worked through the Constitution Modernization Commission, where we've had several hearings on voting rights and tried to get voting rights in our Constitution that way. And we're still waiting to hear back. While we've been waiting, unfortunately, the governor has signed major bills that set us back into law. And so we are working day and night, night and day, so that the people of Ohio, the citizens of Ohio, will have a voice to make sure that voting rights is not just a temporary solution. Voting rights is something that's going to be permanently in our Constitution. And so the Ohio Legislative Black Caucus is working with coalitions of folks throughout the state of Ohio in a grassroots level to call on us to have a voter bill of rights in the Ohio Constitution, where early voting would be in the Constitution, where provisional ballots being counted would be in the Constitution, where your vote, not only would you have the right to vote, but your vote would be counted, it would be in the Constitution. 
solution. And so today we call on no more temporary solutions to permanent problems. And when we talk about Sunday, souls to the polls did not just get started. The souls began when they crossed the Edmund Pettus Bridge and blood was shed on that Sunday. So we call today to say we're going to go from bloody Sunday to putting the Ohio voting rights in the Constitution. We need your help. No more begging. No more asking. We want the citizens now to have a voice. Thank you very much and we look forward to continuing to work with Senator Dima Turner.